Now I know where the spirit from the class comes from. <laughs> if we could all please stand, I'd like to invite out the president of the class of 2018, Allison Kalesa, for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please, oh, oh, please stay standing. We have, we have one more thing we've got to stand for. At this time, I'd like to invite out Mary Stefano for the national anthem. At this time, you can all take a seat. Good evening, and welcome school and town dignitaries, 
faculty and staff, parents, family members, friends, and of course, our graduating class. Tonight, we celebrate the commencement of the class of 2018. Four short years ago, I was standing outside the back door with Officer Walsh as droves of students came pouring in for their first day of school. Mixed in the crowd were scared and awkward freshmen, unsure of what their first day would bring or how they would survive the next four years. And me, a first-year principal, awkward in my own right, and just as scared and unsure of how this experience would go. Somehow we survived that first year, and the second, and the third. And now here we are tonight, celebrating your final moments as seniors. Six years ago, English teacher David McCullough Jr. delivered a graduation speech to Wellesley High School class of 2012. Mr. McCullough's message to the seniors that you are not special and that you are not exceptional gathered viral attention. The speech continued with the thought that the seniors had been carried to this point in their lives by capable adults. That they are just one of nearly three million seniors graduating that year. He followed with a statistical reinforcement of how unexceptional we all are. Mr. McCullough had purpose in sharing these thoughts as it set the stage for a sincere conclusion where he asked those graduates to do whatever they do for no reason other than that they love it and believe in its importance. The message and intent of that speech has resonated with me since its delivery. So if there's nothing special and exceptional about any of us, why do I see 112 special people sitting here on stage tonight? When I was in ninth grade, I played for Coach O'Brien. Don't worry, you shouldn't be familiar with him. There wasn't anything special or exceptional about him other than he mattered to me. Towards the end of a practice, he asked the group of linemen if we had any questions. Confident in our knowledge of the new plays, we all replied no. With that, he asked us, what is the meaning of life? He was kind of quirky like that. Totally taken off guard, we all stood there dumbfounded. As was the ritual, if there was a question we couldn't answer, we were granted the privilege of running laps. We ran so much that season, we convinced ourselves that we were an overweight cross-country team. I can still remember running those specific laps thinking, what kind of question was that? So what is the meaning of life? Well, if you ask Mr. Vigliotti, he might give you an answer about reproduction, the continuation of DNA, and preservation of the species. While that may be true in the biological sense, there's something more that helps give meaning to our lives. With many more years of life experience and continual thought about that question, my answer now to Coach O'Brien would be personal growth through the building of strong relationships with others. It is not the individual accolades, riches, titles, or trophies, but rather the growth we achieve and the relationships we build that make us special and exceptional. The relationships with you, the graduating class of 2018, your families, and this community have helped me achieve more growth in the past four years than any other time in my life. For that, you will forever be special and exceptional to me. On behalf of the entire THS family, we thank you for all the experiences that have made up the past four years and wish you nothing but the very best. As you continue on in the next phase of your life, don't ever stop growing and don't ever stop building those meaningful relationships. At this time, I would like to invite up our keynote speaker, the Mayor of Plymouth, Mr. David Merchant. I'll tell you, there's one thing that I do like is the energy in this room. This is, this is exciting. That uh, uh, I've never seen so much energy. Every time that I've been here, I haven't, uh, haven't seen this much energy. I remember when when my sons graduated, I think I sat out there and cried through the whole through the whole ceremony. So if anybody is inclined to do that, it's okay because it happens. Uh, I want to welcome you all tonight, graduation of 2018. And I first and foremost want to thank the class of 2018 for allowing me to be part of this very important event in your lives. And I want to thank you all for being part of our community, 
in sharing this part of your journey through life with us. You've made your community very proud. I especially want to thank you all for the volunteer service that you performed. It was such a pleasure to have you with us in whatever, whatever you did choose to volunteer in. I know I worked with a lot of you, and, and, and I share the principal's feelings here that I've seen so many of you come up there in the fall as freshmen, and then I worked with you in the, as sophomores and juniors and seniors, and, and, and it's incredible how fast it goes and um, what a pleasure it was to get to know you. Our community would not exist if it wasn't for volunteers, and, and I truly hope that your experiences over the past four years are going to help you in the future give back to whatever community that you settle into. I want to thank the Rue reps that spent time with me over the past few years. We've had some great discussions, and I want to thank you all for caring and being involved in the process. You know, you sit here tonight and complete your time at Terryville High School and prepare to leave us. I would ask you all to remember us. Remember your community, remember your hometown. Before you leave, and I'm sure that a lot of people have given you a lot of advice, so I'm not going to be any exception. I'm going to give you the three things that I think are the most important that, uh, that I would honestly uh, guarantee your success in life if you follow them. You know, how many times over the years have we heard people say, you know, if I only knew then what I know now, boy, things would be different. Everybody in this room has probably said that at one time or another. Or if I could do it all over again, or if I had a second chance. What they're all talking about and they're all saying is they made mistakes along the way. And they would like to be exactly right where you are tonight for a second chance. So I've got some bad news and I've got some hope for you. The bad news is you can't come back once you, once you leave here. Um, there are no second chances and there's no do-overs, so once you leave this chair, and that's the starting chair of life that I would call it, um, you're not going to come back to have a second shot. So you need to get this as right as you can the first time around. Remember, there are people out there that have done what you want to do. There are people out there that are where you want to be. And there are people that have gone where you want to go. They've all made mistakes along the way. First thing I want you to do is I want you to listen and learn from their mistakes. It's going to be a whole lot quicker for you to get where you want to go by not repeating the mistakes that have been made before you. We've got a plaque hanging in our house. It's a quote from Eleanor Roosevelt, and it says, Learn from the mistakes of others. You won't live long enough to make them all yourself. <laughs> so learn from the mistakes of others. This is number one, and, and honestly, you need to uh, heed this one as soon as possible. Second, I want you to live every day in the way that you want to be remembered. Never forget that every day is a gift, and nothing is more important than living every day in the way that you want to be remembered. Touch as many lives as you can along your journey. Help the people along the way that need your help. Give back to your community and to the people that helped you along your way. Your legacy may be the most important thing that you build as you go through life. And it's, you know what, it's not maybe the most important. Your legacy is the most important thing that you're going to build as you go through life. Live every day the way that you want to be remembered. Third thing's a little more difficult, it requires a little bit of a commitment, and maybe it's the most important. And that is you need to commit your life every day to excellence. Every day, not every other day or once a week or a month. Every day you need to commit your life to excellence. I can tell you this. I can tell you that this world is all about competition. Every senior in this country is soon going to be competing for you for that job. And I think we just heard it was three million seniors. Is that what we said? Three million seniors? We're all going to be competing for that job, the position, the promotion, or whatever it is that you're going to be involved with. As you compete in life for whatever you're working towards, you need to compete to win. You need to be the winner. Always play by the rules, but you must commit to excellence every day. Every day. I have a, I have a plaque that hangs in my office, and it has for years. And this was one from uh, legendary coach uh, of the Green Bay Packers, Vince Lombardi. And he said, your finest hour, your greatest fulfillment to all that you hold dear, is that moment when you have worked your heart out in a good cause, lie exhausted on the field of battle, victorious. Commit to excellence and be that winner. 
And that's it. There's your three keys to your success in life. It's just commit to excellence every day, live every day the way that you want to be remembered, and learn from the mistakes of others. Follow these three. I promise you, I promise you that you will succeed in life just by following those three simple rules. I want to thank you all again for allowing me to share this night with you. And remember now as you leave, I want you to remember your community. Make your community proud. And more importantly, make your parents proud. Thank you very much. At this time, it is my honor to introduce our essayist for the class of 2018, Samantha Stone. Good evening, Dr. Semmel, Mayor Merchant, Police Chief Krasicki, Mrs. Johnson, and members of the Board of Education, Mr. Holtz, Mr. Vigliotti, district and school faculty and staff, parents, friends, and graduates, welcome. It is an honor to have this opportunity to be able to speak today as we come together to celebrate this tremendous accomplishment. First, I would like to congratulate the class of 2018. We've been preparing for this moment and many of us have been counting down the days, the hours, minutes, and even seconds to walk across this stage and officially complete high school so that we can go on to what comes next. Tonight, my message is rather simple. Life happens, and life is good. So that is what we should all consider as we leave Terryville High School. Life happens, but life is good. You see, throughout our lives, we will encounter numerous opportunities, challenges, and yes, even setbacks. And when things do not go our way, we might feel discouraged or defeated. Undoubtedly, each one of us is going to come across obstacles that we will have to deal with. This idea may become our reality sooner rather than later, because as we step into the real world, we are leaving the safety net that we have had up until now. Every single person sitting on this stage today has at some point set goals, or they will set goals for themselves, which is a good thing. But do not be surprised if along the way they change. Even though we all make plans and set goals and have dreams, it is certain that even the best plan changes. Why? Because life happens. So what do you do when you have big plans that suddenly change? Well, I can't answer that. But I can tell you this. Do not be fearful of the change. Embrace it. We all have the opportunity to take what is given to us, good or bad, and make the most of it. To cite from the ancient Chinese philosophical text, the Tao Te Ching, it is possible that the good things are tests, possibly rather difficult ones at that, and the bad things are gifts to help us grow, problems to solve, situations to learn to avoid, habits to change, conditions to accept, lessons to learn, things to transform, all opportunities to find wisdom, happiness, and truth. So, as you see, even though life may take an unexpected turn, it always comes with opportunity. And ultimately, what you do with every opportunity is up to you. Life is your path, and it can still be magnificent, even when the best plans change, because it is what we do with our lives and how we react to and handle those difficult situations that determines how we feel about the world and how we feel about our success and ourselves. Life, no matter what, is good. 
As we all part and take our steps into the real world, remember to enjoy your life. Do things you love. Take a few risks. And always remember that, yes, life will be hard sometimes. The road may not always lead you to where you thought it would, but regardless, life is good. It is beautiful. And all it takes is your attitude and determination to make it so. So, as I like to say, be the potato you were meant to be. <laughs> good luck and congratulations, class of 2018. It is my pleasure to introduce the salutatorian and my best friend, Emily Torino. <laughs> Dr. Semmel, Mayor Merchant, Police Chief Krasicki, Mrs. Johnson and members of the Board of Education, Mr. Holtz, Mr. Vigliotti, district and school faculty and staff, parents, friends, and graduates, welcome. And this introduction would be incomplete for me if I did not take this time to welcome my third grade teacher, Mr. Waldron. <laughs> Mr. Waldron has been the most impactful teacher in my life and is actually in attendance tonight. Thank you for being here. To begin my remarks, and most importantly, I would like to congratulate the class of 2018. I know we worked diligently up until graduation day, and I am proud of our accomplishments. Tonight, what I have to say is very brief, but Brevity does not mean what I have to say is unimportant. In a society with improving technology, college selectivity, career expectations, and the rising cost of higher education, there is a significant burden placed on students and people to excel. In some cases, this desire to succeed evolves into the necessity for perfection the notion that we must uphold the unrealistic expectation of perfection and avoid failure at all cost is not an idea that only runs rampant in the halls of high school. It is present throughout our entire life. Failing does not make you a failure. Rather, it is an opportunity to learn and improve. From my experience, it is dwelling on our failures and obsessing over our imperfections that prevents us from truly living a life of success. In the midst of the endless and impossible journey to perfection, you can lose sight of your objectives and set unrealistic goals that may lead you to think that you are not good enough. You are good enough. You are smart enough. You are capable of many things so long as you believe in yourself. The only thing stopping you from believing in yourself is the same thing that will make you lose sight of what is important to you, the quest for perfection. So do not give your flaws that type of power. Overcome the aspects of your life that trap you and prevent you from achieving all that you are able to accomplish. Fly freely, unrestricted by the desire for perfection. For you see, striving for perfection can cloud your judgment and alter your ability to differentiate between meaningless and meaningful goals in life. Therefore, I stand here tonight to wish everyone the best of luck in their futures. If you were to remember something from this night, please remember to be true to yourself and do not beat yourself up over small, meaningless failures, because in the end, those very failures are actually the large steps that will allow you to grow and achieve the success that you so richly deserve. Congratulations, class of 2018.
It is my pleasure to introduce the valedictorian of the class of 2018, Maria Cesari. Dr. Semmel, Mayor Merchant, Police Chief Krasicki, Mrs. Johnson and members of the Board of Education, Mr. Holtz, Mr. Vigliotti, district and school, faculty and staff, parents, friends, and fellow graduates, welcome. To be completely honest, I had no idea what to write about for this speech. So many things happened in high school that it was difficult to think of just one impactful moment to speak about. However, as I continued to mull over the hundreds of different instances during my high school career, I realized that it was not necessarily the actual events that I remembered, but it was the people I was with. Throughout all this, I have learned that it is not always the big picture or the end result it is all of the small moments and the people with who you share them with that lead to a gratified ending. It is easy to get caught up in your goals and miss the importance of what you are actually doing. It is beneficial to take a step back sometimes and give yourself a renewed perspective. You will always remember the journey and the struggles that it took to get you to where you are today. I hope you can appreciate the little moments and the many people that have led to your successes and ultimately helped shape the person that you are today. For me, personally, not only did internal factors affect my success and the person that I am, but the people I have been around, my friends specifically, who have influenced my life a great deal. There is a quote from Maya Angelou that I believe addresses this idea of appreciating the importance of the journey and those you take it with when she says, I've learned that people will forget what you said. People will forget what you did. But people will never forget how you made them feel. High school, in my opinion at least, was the time to learn what the term friends actually means. A friend is someone who will let you fail and learn your own lessons, even if they know it will hurt you, and are always there for the moments when you grow the most. Your friends are also the people who challenge you. They challenge you to learn more about yourself, and they give you that congenial push, or in some cases, an aggressive but well-needed shove into situations that you are not entirely comfortable with. In everyone's life, the people that you choose to be with enhance who you already are and simultaneously allow you to grow. Recently, I became aware of how we can have incidental friends people we may only talk to on rare occasions, who we can have a profound effect upon. This occurred the other day when someone who I had talked to only a handful of times in the past four years told me that I had influenced them and had helped them come to terms with something extremely personal. I was shocked by this message because I was so unaware that I could have such a defining impact on someone that I would call a casual friend. I learned that you do not have to be close with someone or talk to them every day or even talk to them at all to make a difference in their life. I learned that you can just simply be there, just be who you are, and consequently, you mean something to people. You matter. Further, 
Since our lives are so intertwined and interconnected, we are always on display for others. We represent something to every single person that we encounter. Therefore, we need to be tolerant and respectful of others and remain open-minded. We need to preserve that passionate nature of our generation while still maintaining our humanity. And most of all, we need to remember to leave a legacy that we personally would be proud to have repeated to future generations. Finally, I would like to say not only congratulations to the class of 2018, but I would like to say thank you. Thank you for teaching me about myself and about life. So again, thank you to all of you for making a difference in my life as well as the lives of everyone around you. And do not forget to appreciate the little moments, the moments with family and friends, the moments where you can be yourself, and remember that in every moment, you always mean something to someone. I would like to leave you with a quote from the TV show Parks and Recreation, where the character, played by Amy Poehler, says something that will help us to understand the impact that we have on others, while also conveying the important, excuse me, importance of the roles other people have within our lives moving forward. No one achieves anything alone. So, let's embark on this journey together. Let's break out a map, not the old, out-of-date one that shows where we've been, but the new, crisp one that shows where we might go. Let's embark on a new journey together and see where it takes us. Thank you and congratulations to the class of 2018. This time I'd like to invite out the seniors from our music program for a little ensemble.
At this time, I'd like to invite up the Chairman of the Board of Ed, Mrs. Melissa Johnson. Congratulations to the Class of 2018 from the entire Board of Education. It is my privilege and honor to speak tonight. Um, this class is very special to many of us. As our esteemed principal has said, I think we all feel that. But this one is especially for me because my youngest is graduating, um, so this is pretty amazing. Um, I have known a great number of you since preschool, kindergarten, and um, a little after that. So for you guys, uh, you have my heart. Um, because I've known all of these kids, well, most of these kids, most of their lives, I've known a lot of you. So for me to say congratulations to you, I'm going to say congratulations to all of you. And you did a great job with our kids. So congratulations. <laughs> you guys are a class of exceptional people with caring hearts and open minds. And that fills me with such happiness and joy. Remember your time here and now. Bring your fond memories with you, and I will leave you with this. Was it worth the tassel? Was worth the hassle? Thank you. And for our final remarks for the evening, I'd like to invite up Dr. Semmel, our superintendent of schools. Okay. Well, good evening. I, too, want to congratulate um, everyone here in attendance uh, tonight. We're celebrating the hard work and accomplishments of the, the young men and women up here on the stage. Um, I had the opportunity to get to know many of the graduates as well, and I can tell you it is truly a great group of, of, of kids, um, young adults. Um, I want to thank the parents and the families of these great kids. These, these kids are very hardworking and serious. Uh, but they are also fun-loving and spirited. And like Mr. Holt said, I think we see where they get their spirit from. Class of 2018, I know you will all do great after high school, but I too want to offer some advice. Although I have to say, after listening to our, our three speeches tonight from the kids, I thought you guys did remarkable. Not only are you, you know, high-quality students in the classroom, but you clearly have a lot of wisdom that you've gained over, the, over these few 17, 18 years that you've been around because you said some very profound things. I am but a simple man, and my advice is but simple. But it is very important, and I hope you listen to it, because I continue to try to follow my own advice, and this is really advice that I've learned from many other people. First, believe in yourself and be the best that you can be each day, as you are just too simply, you're too important to be able to not give enough to your own self. So really give your, as much as you possibly can each day. And I, too, want you to set lofty goals. One of the speeches talked about setting important, lofty goals. But in terms of those goals, you actually need to check in on them. You need to make sure you hold yourself accountable for them. 
And goals don't have to be around financial. There's so many goals out there that are valuable, but you need to hold yourself accountable to those goals. I also want you to appreciate the importance of two heads or three heads being better than one. Because as I heard about the importance of friendship from one of the speakers, it is so true. As capable as each of you are, you will be amazed by how much more you can accomplish when you work with others. Others that might be different or bring different talents to the table. Um, you will find that if you try to go it on your own, you won't be able to achieve as much. And finally, my fourth piece of advice is just be nice. If you don't have something nice to say, don't say it at all. <laughs> and that's, yeah. <laughs> and, that, and that includes social media stuff for all of us. For example, when you see your loved ones tonight, thank them for all the little things and the big things that they've done to make tonight possible. That's it, my advice. This may sound simple, but if you really pay attention to all the advice that we heard tonight and truly take it to heart, um, you will find that over the years you will get more and more wisdom um, and benefit from that. But at this time, I would like to also turn my attention to something I like to do at graduation uh, and turn our attention to our true heroes in attendance tonight. And those would be active and retired members of our military. These men and women have given so much for our country, and they were and are prepared to make the ultimate sacrifice. If the audience would be so kind, I would like to ask those in attendance who have served or are currently ser serving in the armed forces to please stand if you are able and be recognized. Is there any in the audience? could all remain standing, those of you who are standing, if you could remain standing, because what I would like to do also, um, we would like to recognize we have four members from the class of 2018 who have recently enlisted, and I would like to identify them as well. We, like I said, we have four individuals who will be entering the armed forces, and they are wearing red, white, and blue cords, and I'm going to ask them to stand as well once their name is called. The first one is Logan Cavello, U.S. Coast Guard. We also have Walter Medina, Marine. I believe I have this right, but Private Second Class Michaela Mooring, Army. And Shannon Williams, Navy. To those four graduates, I think it's fair to say that we're proud of your commitment to this town and country, and we will certainly pray for your safety. So we can all be safe. So the class of 2018, I will certainly miss you, but I am so excited to see the good that you will do in this world as you graduates, as you graduate this evening and you continue on this remarkable journey. Congratulations. And now, of course, what you've all been waiting for, I'd like to introduce Mr. Vigliotti, Assistant Principal of Terryville High School, with a presentation of diplomas. Thank you, Dr. Semmel. All right, seniors, are we ready?
Diplomas will now be awarded to row one. Maria Rose Cesari. <laughs> Emily Regina Torino. <laughs> Samantha Diane Stone. <laughs> Hannah Marie Aval. Gary David Belanger III. Kelsey Rose Bernier. Sarah Ann Bourne. Amir Bernard Brigman. Renee Helen Karen. Joshua Alex Chase. Olivia Rose Cristiano. James Lee Clark. Ethan Riley Clift. <laughs> Diplomas will now be awarded to row two. Ray Rose Klima. <laughs> Alyssa Lynn Carrado. <laughs> Michaela Marie Corsi. <laughs> Logan Thomas Covello. Garrett Owen Crosby. Nathan James Dion. Jasmine Marie Donahue Johnson. Evan Michael Dorso. Kylie Ann Doyle. <laughs> Melanie Ruby Marie Dabrowski. <laughs> Jessica Colleen Dupont. <laughs> John Carrado McDuff Ferrante. Maisie Rose Festa. <laughs> Trinity Aurora Fontaine.
Gentry Cheyenne Foster. William Ian Frechette. Jocelyn Rose Fulton. Diplomas will now be awarded to row three. <laughs> Carrie Nicole Genest. Alana Noel Gerch. Mackenzie Lynn Gizzy. Haley Brianna Guariello. Taya Guiz. Zachary William Hamsey. Brianna Margaret Hanlon. Hayden Heber Hiscock. Devin Michael Hitchcock. Brett Edward Hotchkiss. Mackenzie Keeley Hurria. Amy Catherine Ironimo. Courtney Ann John Pierre. Zachary Thomas Johnson. Jones. Ryan Michael Cobrin. Demetra Rose Kowaleski Pham. Brendan Richard Kraft. Diplomas will now be awarded to row four. Anna Maria Krayeski. Andrew Jonathan Krukar. Allison Joyce Kulesa. Arian Cooley.
Thomas Anthony Kurilenko. Nicholas Paul Quazala. Richard Larson. Anthony James Lavero. Brogan Elijah Lee. Noah Joseph Lemaire. Hannah Rose Lindsay. Cameron Lee Lopez. Jesse Paul Lowell. Matthew Barry Luxick. Hunter Robert Lombard. Bailey Hunter McCann. Walter Edward Medina. Sydney Diana Morin. Michaela Diane Mooring. Diplomas will now be awarded to row five. Patrick James Mulvahill. Jeremy Stephen Murdoch. Austin Jeremiah Newberry. Noah Eli Norton. Alyssa Antoinette Oaks. Madison Lynn Ogren. Alyssa Marie Papapitro. Adam Robert Pels. Corey Joseph Picard. Dominique Yvette Picard. Caitlin Christine Colton.
Alyssa Lauren Prozo. Madison Olivia Rainey. Ethan Jeffrey Rowe. Justin Angel Rivera. Sky Lynn Rosado. Alyssa Stephanie Ryder. Stephanie Catherine Sample. Alyssa Marie Santos. Madison Lee Saucier. Diplomas will now be awarded to row six. Michaela Louise Scannell. Aaron Morris Shine. Austin Joseph Shorey. Andrew James Skempris. Jack Alexander Smith. Matthew Lucian Susi. Nolan Ryan Stack. Robert William Stackhouse. <laughs> Kayla Elizabeth Stanko. James Paul Standish. Mary Jean Stefano. Jonathan Michael Tatanovich. <laughs> Jacob Michael Tellier. <laughs> Haley Alyssa Thayer. Michael Ryan Tisha. Thomas Walter Tobin.
Christopher William Tompkins. Tyrus Raymond Toth. Martina Marie Travato. Brian Douglas Turner. Cheyenne Marie Turner. Shannon Lee Williams. Dominic Michael Zapone. Riley Albert Zapone. Okay, seniors, one last, uh, one last rule to follow, one last direction to follow. At this time, please move your tassels from the right side of your cap to the left. Please stand. And now, family members, friends, fellow students, and distinguished guests, I am honored to present to you the Terryville High School graduate class of 2018.